right sin 60 degrees cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees cos 60 degrees what is the value of sin 60 degrees plus 30 degrees what can you conclude let us find sin 60 degrees 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees first sign we have to go clockwise three fingers are left that is root 3 by 2 sign 60 degrees is equals to root 3 by 2 let us find cos 30 degrees 0 degrees and 30 degrees for cos we have to go anti clockwise that is three fingers are left that is root 3 by 2. Now we have to find sine 30 degrees. That is 0 degrees and 30 degrees. For sine we have to go clockwise. Only one finger has left. That is 1 by 2. Let us find cos 60 degrees. 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. For cos, we have to go anti-clockwise. That is only one finger had left. So, 1 by 2. Here we got all the values. Now, replace the values. Sin 60 degrees is equals to root 3 by 2 into cos 30 degrees is equals to root 3 by 2 plus sin 30 degrees that is 1 by 2 into cos 60 degrees also 1 by 2 root 3 whole square by 2 into 2 whole square plus 1 into 1 whole square by 2 whole square here square and root gets cancelled so 3 by 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is always 1. 2 square is 4. We know that when denominators are same, we should add directly. So 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 1. 4 ones are 4 ones are is equals to 1. Now let us find sine 60 degrees plus 30 degrees. Sine 60 degrees plus 30 degrees. 60 plus 30 is 90. Is sine 90 degrees. Now let us find sine 90 degrees. 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. So for sine we have to go clockwise. That is 4 fingers are left. So root 4 by 2. Root 4 can be written as root 2 whole square by 2. Square and root gets cancelled. So, 2 by 2. 1, 2 1s are, 2 1s are. That is 1. We got sin 60 degrees cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees cos 60 degrees. That is 1. And sin 60 degrees plus 30 degrees also 1. 